Committee is revealing evidence of fraud in the government's disability payment system. 60 Minutes reported on the probe Sunday night. The investigation focuses on an attorney and a judge in West Virginia. As Chip Reed reports, the two men are suspected of working together too closely. Eric C. Kahn, said to be the third highest paid disability lawyer in the country, stood before a Senate hearing Monday accused of perpetrating massive fraud against the Social Security Administration. Four witnesses testified against Kahn and Judge David B. Doherty, alleging they collaborated on more than 1,800 disability cases. A 168-page report lays out their alleged abuse. Darty is said to have awarded an unusually high number of benefits totaling $2.5 billion, while Kahn would seek out doctors with suspicious credentials. Melinda Hicks worked for Kahn. He referred to those as whore doctors. He said that if they had sanctions and had their license suspended before, that he could get them to do whatever he wanted and they were cheaper. The report claims these doctors would sign a claimant's form, paving the way for Doherty to award benefits. One in three of the cases reviewed revealed identical paperwork. During this time, Kahn received four and a half million dollars in lawyer's fees paid by Social Security. Jennifer Griffith and her co-worker Sarah Carver also testified Monday. They processed disability claims in Huntington, West Virginia. In 2011, they filed a federal lawsuit against Kahn and Doherty under the False Claims Act, which allows whistleblowers to get a portion of money recovered in fraud cases. With Judge Doherty and Eric Kahn, um, what I seen was 100%. If you look at that statistic alone, what is, what's the likelihood that every claimant that walks in your office is disabled? 60 Minutes tracked down Khan. You can't talk about your relationship with George Doherty or your incredible success in, in disability court. Well, that's tempting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would love to comment on some of that. But no, really, sir, I really don't think I should right now. At Monday's hearing, he was even more restrained. I respectfully assert my constitutional right not to testify here today, sir. Doherty left the hearing before he was called to testify. More than 11 million Americans receive disability insurance. That's up 20 percent in the last six years. Senator Tom Coburn, who spearheaded the investigation, says that this case is just one example of widespread abuse. Some in Congress refuse to acknowledge that the disability programs are broken and in dire need of significant oversight. People who are truly disabled will pay the price of our dithering. Analysts estimate that the disability fund could be bankrupt in just 18 months. For CBS This Morning, Chip Reed, Washington. Getting a lot of